Islam peeps. It is more Camille, and I'm looking rough. But um, my daughter and I were having a discussion about how brothers talk about women and sex, and um, it's so messed up. For both the men and the women, the men that they can't relate to a woman in a romantic or emotional way just means, because I've come across this so many times, it just means that as a people, we are so broken emotionally. Like the lack of intimacy is accepted and okay with most of us and it's sad for the women because the small amount of emotion that we need from a man in order to feel received accepted loved and secure is not going to be given and we have to accept that if we want to be in a relationship shit with a man or a woman because I'm sure they suffer from the same thing when they try to uh, I forget what they call this when they whatever when they perceive themselves to be men I don't know what else to call it and I'm not digging around in the crates this early for for other verbiage so we were discussing how men say that P-U-S-S-Y, or that thing, or I would fly that, and my daughter was mentioning a song where he said, I would fly that thing. So you're not flying the woman, you're flying her vagina. So her vagina can get on a plane and fly by itself. So it holds conversations with you on the phone. So it rubs your head when you're sick and makes you chicken noodle soup or whatever soup, tomato. So it smells your funky under pit, underarms and breath in the morning. So it's going to loan you 10 bucks until you get to the bank for gas. What is going on with this separation of vagina from the person? Why is it that men can't say, can I make love to you? Can we be together? Why is it that can I have some of that That thing is jiggling. Our sexual or maybe not even sexual, um, our whatever, that, it's too early. Those are not separated from the woman. She is a whole person, a whole person from head to toe, box included. Okay? Include it. You cannot separate sex from a person unless, unless, and you still, well, that, for that, you're, you still need a person, so I'm wrong there, too. Hand is attached to you. Tongue is attached to someone. Like, it still doesn't make any sense. For us to talk about a body part as if it's separate from the human being. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What's wrong? And who is raising these people? And why is this continuing to occur over um, generations? Like... No one caught on to this and said, stop saying that. 
See, I hold parents, I, I hold parents accountable for this because if you wouldn't have made this a generational problem, we would have stopped a long time ago. But because you don't have your emotions in check and you don't know how to talk to your woman, your child doesn't either. Because you have no respect for her and you have no respect for her as a whole person, you can't teach your son or daughter to talk about another person in a way where they're a whole being. They're not a whole being to you. They're what you can get from them or out of them that's pleasurable. That's what's happening. This is all so sad to me. Like, I, I would love to be in tears right now, but I'm so angry that we've even gotten to a place where I need to say this. It's just sad. Like, what? I mean, I came on here haggard because I was so salty. Actually, I don't look that bad. Peeps. It's some peeps. <laughs> Y'all. I was not raised with this foolishness. So, it happening around me as an irk. My children will check a man for that. I, I don't, my children don't have a problem saying to a dude, look. That's a part of me. And won't give him a pass what you know what I mean. Because say what you mean. Say what you mean. And don't use that you know what I mean. No, motherfucker, tell me. How about that? Explain what you mean. Hold people accountable for what they say. Because if they can't speak it, they can't be it. If they can't speak it, they can't be it. If they can't speak it, they can't be it. I want you to remember this. Everything that's important, I'm going to say three times, and I'm, gonna, I'm trying to remember that. If they can't say it to you, they can't be what it is that you want them to say. It's just what it is. And you're going to have to make, you're going to have to come to grips with the fact that that person is not going to be what you need them to be because they can't even mouth it. So... He thinks you're a that and a thing because that's what he's saying out of his mouth. And he doesn't have the emotional maturity to do anything else. That's just what it is. And sometimes we just got to deal with the truth. As sad and as painful as it might be, just got to deal with the truth. It's nothing. <laughs> I've called my nurse. It's a beef. It's a beef. It's a beef. It's a peeps. And I'm going to say peace. Peeps. Before I get madder. Peace, peeps. I love y'all. That's why I do this. Because I love y'all. And I want you to find joy in yourselves and each other so you don't have to look outside of us to find it. And I want us to be stronger in our hearts, minds, and spirits so that we can remain on this planet and especially this continent so we can have it back. You feel me? So this is more Camille signing out. I love y'all. Later.